Hey guys, Line on his back with another video. Now the InMotion V11 still remains to be one of the most popular EUCs ever made. Now, why are consumers still buying these in 2022, even though they have newer options to choose from? Are they any good, or are they just overhyped motorized pogo sticks? Well, stick around to find out. So I've been holding off a while on making a review on the InMotion V11, mostly because I wanted to ride the crap out of them before I give you guys a review. My last few videos have been first impressions, and that's kind of like test driving a new car and going, ooh, I like the way the engine sounds, ooh, I like the orange leather, you know? It's not very good consumer advice, so I can really tell you about these now, so let's get into it. So should we start with specs? I guess we should get a couple out of the way, yeah? So the top speed is 55 in motions per hour, which is slightly slower than kilometers per hour. And they weigh about... Uh, yeah. uh. They also have suspension, but not real suspension, not wheel suspension, just pedal suspension. InMotion loves to advertise lots of kilometers, but the real world kilometers I got was 70.1. Um, you can watch that range test video if you want. So if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I owned a Kingsong S18. I put about 2,500 kilometers on it. Um, so I can compare that to these as well. Um, let's talk about acceleration and braking first. Uh, acceleration on all InMotion wheels are kind of weird. They're slow to start. I don't know what that is, it's just a trait they have. Um, the King Song off the line was definitely snappier. It was easier to idle with. Um, but these are faster, they go farther. Um, the braking is, I'd say, maybe better on the S18. I'd, I'd have to compare them, it felt a little bit better. Uh, the braking's fine, I haven't had an issue with braking on these wheels, even at high speed. But yeah, that's why I sold it. It just wasn't fast enough. And the range was, eh, it was okay. Um, yeah, these have better range and you can cruise about 10 kilometers an hour faster on these, I have found. I guess we should talk about one of the main selling features on these wheels is the suspension. And I can compare it to the S18s as well. Straight up, the S18 suspension is better. It feels better. It just works better. Pedal suspension feels a bit like a pogo stick, as they say. Uh, is it better than no suspension? Hell yeah, it's way better than no suspension. But I do feel like I've downgraded in the suspension department. But you know, like once you get the air chambers filled up to the correct amount and you just get used to how that feels, uh, they're still great. They, they work a lot better. They're safer in my opinion than a non-suspension wheel because uh, your wheel's gonna be on the ground a little bit longer, but not to the level of the S18, because when you go downstairs on the S18, the wheel is suspended, and so it pushes down on the stairs and it keeps your wheel in contact with the ground. With these, I find like you're just bouncing all over the place sometimes, and it's a little bit more sketchy. Uh, so yeah, suspension, I'd say S18 wins. On-road performance is good. It's not great, but it's nice, it's comfy. You can go over bumps that you've missed with your eyes and it won't knock you off. Uh, curbs are fine. Uh, going downstairs, uh, yeah, it's comfy, it's cushy. And what I like is it will do 50 kilometers an hour safely. Uh, the S18 could not. So why does that matter? Well, in Canada, 50 kilometers an hour is our residential zones. So I can ride on the road in residential areas and I'm not going to get honked at and that's a big one for me. Um, and I don't like taking the sidewalk unless I have to so that's kind of I think the minimum I'd want a wheel to go and these will do it so. Off-road performance has actually been surprisingly great. I've uh, held off from getting an off-road tire. You can get a bunch of them but you lose range and I cannot afford that. So I've been riding these on some pretty crazy trails with the stock tire. And these guys have been little billy goats, so I would say off-road performance gets a thumbs up for me. So one thing I do like about the V11 is that it has a wonderful tail light and a headlight. Uh, they work awesome. I have used them in pitch black conditions and I have been able to get home safely 
people have seen me. It's great. I feel like the previous models were a bit gimmicky with the lights and speakers. Mm, yeah, I like the more vehicle centric design for sure. So I guess we should talk about the sweet trolley handle on the V11. Uh, it's wonderful. I use it all the time to go shopping and do all my running around. Just press a little trigger down here and it flips up. Super sturdy. Works great. Press it again, it goes back down. Now one thing that people complain about is this little silicone handle on the end slides off. Uh, super easy fix. All I've done is you just drill a hole through it, put a zap strap through that sucker. It's not going anywhere. So I think uh, they're a great trolley handle. Ergonomics. Uh, out of the box, I didn't like it. Uh, put Clark pads on, better for sure, way better. Uh, I put on the honeycomb pedals, even better. The S18 ergonomics were good out of the box. Uh, I didn't do anything to my S18 actually, I just rode it. Which leads me to the riding experience. Now out of the gate, these were wobbly wheels to me. It took me a while to ride it without wobbling the damn wheel. Uh, the Clark pads really helped but I think it has something to do with the high pedals um, and maybe there's a bit of play in the pedals naturally that could be doing it. I don't know, but I've never had so much trouble getting wobbles out um, to well. So if you're buying a V11, put Clark pads on and it will help you. Another thing I like about InMotion products is just they have really nice apps. They're easy to use, they're clear, and they're always updating all the time, the app and the firmware on the machines. So I give a plus one to the V11 for connectivity. So I guess it's time to talk about some bad things. Bearings. Uh, they've been plaguing the V11 since birth. They have been doing tons of updates to their bearings and I don't know if they've fully fixed them yet, but I bought this one brand new and it has a thousand worry-free kilometers so far. I picked this one up used and it had the bearing shot in it. So I tore this one down to nothing and I've replaced it with aftermarket higher quality bearings. So time will tell if those hold up better. Uh, so if you're buying a V11, you may have to replace the bearings, but I can tell you it's not a bad job. Just take your time with it. Um, it is time consuming, but I would say it's not very difficult. Another issue that's been going on has actually been a recent one, and it's the frickin' main boards on these things have been going. I don't know why, they never used to. Uh, I haven't had an issue with any of my boards, but it seems like on the forums there's a lot of people buying these and getting bad boards. In motion seems like they've been changing their MOSFET suppliers, but it's not okay. And uh, you know, like, I don't know if that should change your opinion because these are fine, but it seems to be an ongoing issue right now. So final thoughts on the InMotion V11. Well, I've sold all my other wheels and I've just kept two V11s. Why? Because I think they're the best all arounder still. No, they're far from perfect and you might get bad bearings and a bad mainboard, but still like if I had to keep one wheel, this is the one I keep because it's got just enough range. I can do everything I need to do on it. It goes just fast enough and I can still pick the damn things up. Me and my girlfriend, we do a lot of traveling and I'm picking these up all the time. So I do not want us to have two Sherman Maxes. Um, but yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for sticking around. Um, please give this video a like if you can. Hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to put a little more effort into these for you guys, and I hope you appreciate that. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.